it's here. So here's the old busted part. And we've got new parts in here. We're gonna put it back together. So the kit actually comes with a whole lot of other stuff. This belt, now some of the reviews say that this belt uh, is the wrong size belt, so I'm probably just gonna put back the belt that um, it came with, or that <laughs> I had originally. Um, but it has this whole setup, so very excited. I get to put this all back together. So, spring. And then this guy. Makes sense that it would be kind of hard to keep it down, right? Um, and then this guy. This guy. So let's see. This guy's going to go here, so we're going to want this to be up in between here. This goes over right here. And clips into place. On all four sides. Gotta make sure it's in just right. Alright, that's four. Okay. Alright. Then this guy. It's nestled on. This nut goes on. I got my ratchet here. Probably still yep, set to take it off, but let's put it on, okay? Now remember, this dang thing likes to spin, so we gotta really crank it down. <clears throat> All right. Next, we'll be sticking this guy back where it goes. So I've got to get those green screws. I'll come back when I've got that screwed in. Okay, I've got my screws back in there. We're gonna be putting the belt back on. So we start here, make sure it's lined up right. And then, just like before, we just spin it. And it's gonna get back on track there. All right, we got that back on. Okay, so we're gonna put this back on, turn it back over, and then we gotta fix the inside. All right. This one is always a little bit, um, needs to be leveled. <laughs> so you can kind of screw this out a little bit so that your washing machine is more level. But honestly, I end up just shoving a couple things underneath there too, and that's fine. So here we go. It's right all of our rugs. Still a little bit wobbly. I'll fix that here in a sec. I still gotta hook up everything. Drain line is still good. Got pulled a little bit down, kind of adjust it. Um, I've got to reconnect the hot and cold, and then I gotta plug it in. And uh, then, oh, nope, I forgot. I gotta put this whole thing back together, so we're gonna do that first. So the first thing we gotta put back in is this guy. Um, six screws that go in here, down in the bottom. And then we've got this uh, U-shaped fastener. Slide that puppy in. And then we are going to be putting the uh, wash plate back on. So here we go. I'm gonna get my hammer and kind of Make that stick down there. I 
think this is why my kids had that rubber. They were gonna use it like a little rubber mallet. Either way, we're gonna make sure that it's set so that the screws can actually go in there. So I was worried that I was just slam banging it too hard, but I double checked and yep, that's how hard you're supposed to do it. So <laughs> I guess there's something to be said for force. All right. So now I'm going to put the um, wash plate in and I hear that it is much easier to get in than it was to get out. So that's nice. There you go. I don't think it even needs to pop into place. All right. Um, and then I get to do this. So I have to line up that bolt. And then I, there's these little catches down at the bottom here. Got to make sure that they're lined up as well. Kind of fiddly work, I suppose, but all in the name of clean clothes, right? All right, man, how are we going to do this? So I got my, you wouldn't believe it. It doesn't actually click in. It just sits there. <laughs> so I got my long extendo guy that I jerry rigged together. And uh, I'm going to carefully, because it will like totally fall apart, uh, get it down in there. <laughs> yep, just like that. Um, this is not the real tool that you're supposed to use for this job. So, we're just kind of making it work, but I actually just set this in there. That was silly of me. So, I'm going to get this in here just so. There we go. I'm going to try and pop that puppy in there. Screw it in. Yeah, it's going to be a little harder than it would be if I had the proper tools. So, but I mean, like, so this is kind of the commentary for it. Because you're not really here for the um, actual repair. If you were, you would go to the appliance pros or whatever and watch their two minute video on how to fix it. And then you'd be like, oh, that's how you fix it. Cool. But you're here because the homestead. Um, so, I guess my commentary might actually be useful. It's just how you gotta do things when, when you're poor. When you're poor, when you don't got a whole lot of money to do things, you find new ways to do things. So, I'm gonna try and get this right on that down in there. The amount of electricians using screwdrivers as hammers I ought to show you that there's not really any rules, right? Almost. Okay, I've got that part on. <laughs> now, to get the next section on. Okay, so I've got this from a screwdriver. It has a hexagon shape. And this is the square shape from the ratchet, but it just so happens that it fits. And then I have an adapter down there. It goes from hexagon to square. So I'm going to put that on that, this on that, and then we're going to tighten that puppy up. Because that's how we do it. So now that we've got this almost attached, we put the fabric softener cover on. I never use fabric softener anyway, but it's just a cover to make sure that this doesn't get soaked. Um, I don't know, it's probably getting soaked anyway, but I'm just gonna make 
make sure this is nice and snug in there. pliers pull that last little piece out and oh, almost <laughs> um we'll be good to go hooked up and then hot just like in reverse of how we got everything you can do cold first or hot first doesn't matter but I just mean we're putting things back the way they were I'll tighten that and then I'll turn this on and we're gonna give a test run So I'm going to test it on an actual load of laundry. There's, in my opinion, no reason to test it empty. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you throw a few clothes in there, right? So far, <laughs> it's filling fine, but I didn't do anything to the filling. So, I guess I'll come back and check and see how it is later. Well, it's the next day. Um, I got so busy I had to do shopping trips and all sorts of stuff. So it's the next day. I'm finally coming down to check on the laundry. I guess we're going to see if it spun out good. Nope. It did not. It's like a soap opera around here, isn't it? Well, I guess the saga continues. I'm going to um, check to see how much the electrical component, it's like a little computer -y deal. The thing that I hooked up to the splotch, um, see how much that is, if it's worth trying to uh, replace and see if that may be is uh what the problem is i mean obviously that clutch was bad so that needed to happen um but yeah looks like i'm squeezing water out by hand and bringing it up to dry on the line because i'm not making my dryer uh dry that soaking wet luckily it's going to be um pretty nice the next uh few days outside so we can hang things to dry and It'll be all right. All right. We'll just wrap up this video for now, and I uh, will see uh, what the next update's going to be.